Yo, yo, welcome to the original song contest. Number seven. Oh my goodness, it's almost at the end. Yeah, one more left. But we have five amazing artists to show you this week, so I'm really excited about it. They're really good. So let's go ahead and check them out. Do you see what I see in this day and time? It's hard to find somebody like you. Cause who knows when you close that door? You might miss when you were looking for. Oh. Yeah. I got a mind full of blank and eyes full of ceiling Even my nerves don't know what I'm feeling this time Nor do I Can I hold your hand on the sidewalk? I'm happy just to hear you talk Hey, if you like those five artists, please go and vote for them. Yeah. Well, how do they vote, Ryan? Yeah, it's really simple. You go to the Facebook link, which is down below, and you go to the poll, and you click on your name. It's super simple. It's totally going to make their day, and you should go do it. Before we get to that big secret of how to get signed by a label, we're going to go ahead and go through some artists, very popular ones, Lady Gaga and such, and see how they actually got signed. So let's, let's start. Well, we read this interview with this a &R guy from Roadrunner Records, and he is the person who signed Nickelback. And what he said was he went to see them at a club, and it was raining, and they had people out the door around the corner waiting to see them, and he mm -hmm. said, this is a band that's going to do big things, I'm going to sign them. That kind of follows me, absolutely. So many of you might know how Justin Bieber got signed, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you again, if you don't know. I would like to interject here for just a moment right. and say that Ryan is that's not true. Yes, go back and watch our former shows and watch how much he talks about him. I'm not kidding you. He's a, literally a believer or something. <laughs> Off the wall. He's obsessed. They're like connected. Anyways, Justin Bieber, he made some YouTube videos when he was very young. He had no idea they were going to be popular. Sure enough, they had like 20, 40 million views. And they were so popular that Usher and Justin Timberlake actually wanted to see him. It's not like he was knocking on their door saying, hey, I want to be signed. No, he had people already that wanted him to be a part of their record label. So he created that following, he generated that interest, and you know, it's pretty much history from there. The interesting thing is that not only is he a great uh, singer, yeah. but he is a self-taught musician. He plays like every instrument uh, in the book. He's talented. Some of you may like the band, the pop rock band, Maroon 5. They actually played their first gig here in the beautiful Los Angeles, Hollywood area at the Whiskey Go Go on the Sunset Strip. But actually, after that, while they were playing a beach party in Malibu, that's when they got noticed by the indie producer, Tom Allen. He heard them play, and he offered them offered to manage them. And his partner was actually uh, songwriter John Datacola, mm -hmm. who you may know from Dirty Dancing, folks. That's right, big time. And a part of that article is they had a big following already, pretty much. They had these incredible songs and they had their, you know, fans out in Malibu. So, you know, they generated that interest and all it took was one guy to see it and they were signed. So another way of getting really big is to make people rich. And how do you do that? You write songs for them. So you have Bruno Mars, who wrote songs for B.O.B. Flo Rada. Uh, Travi McCoy, Billionaire. We all know that one. Uh, CeeLo. CeeLo. So that's just to name a few. This guy's made so many songs before he ever even got started. And he already even had a little bit of a, his own following. So another, uh, very interesting is how Bruno Mars did it. Right. There's another artist that did that as well. Lady Gaga, we're like you know so friends. Yeah. Um, she wrote for other people before she got big. She was never like this huge pop star wearing a meat suit. <laughs> no. no, folks. She wrote for uh, Akon, uh, Fergie, Britney Spears, Pussycat Doll. Just the name of people. Uh, and she was a she was a musician, musician. Like she went to music yeah. school. She knows her craft. Well trained. The woman knows her stuff. So what does this bring us to? The, the big secret? secret. Make it rain. Make it rain. You gotta make money. You gotta be 
gold for the labels. You gotta show them that you are interesting and that you can make them lots of money. Now, yeah. Brian can probably agree with me on this. We don't think that's right. No. We think it's no, sad. It's just the way it is. But it is the way it is. Yeah. And artists are having to do what they need to do to get record labels into them. Yeah. If there are indie artists or indie labels that do not require this, they want musicians to be great. But unfortunately, the big labels, you gotta make it rain. You gotta make it rain, yeah. You get the followings, you get the people out to the shows, you get the merchandise, you get the hits on your videos, you will make a difference. Exactly. All right, we just watched this hysterical video and I have been begging Ryan to put it on yeah. and he has been denying me because he has something more important. It's called Boots and Cats. It's essentially beatboxing, which is near and dear to Ryan's heart. And uh, he uses all these different uh, pictures and clips and he creates this whole song by using various words to make it work. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. So we have a 15 second clip of it. Boot. Cat. Boot. Cat. Boot. Cat. Boot. Cat. Boot. Cat. Boots. Cats. Boots. Cats. Boots. Cats. Boot. Knee high B. Boots and cats and boots and cat B. Boots and cats and boots and other cat B. Boots and cats and boots and cat B. Boots and cats and boots and other cat B. Boots and cats and boots and cat B. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Widely anticipated part of the show where we announce. The winners from last week. That's right. Episode six. six. In third place is Emily Alyssa with Unravel. Second place was Charisma with Lonely Soul. And in first place is none other than Sebastian Janowski with Big City College Math Name. Congratulations. Before we end the show, I'm gonna get up close and personal. We're trying to do a good thing here by getting people watching your videos. We need your help. We need you to like our YouTube page, like our Facebook, yeah. <laughs> do our blog, I mean subscribe to our blog, follow us on Twitter. We need your help. Yeah, we do. We're doing magical things here. We're doing it for free and we're doing it because we love you, the artist. So please, please join.